Holy Fesco. Today we're going to be giving you the lunch menu for the week of the 28th of November. And yes, we're in gym clothes and soccer pants. Okay, so for Monday, the menu is popcorn chicken with potatoes with gravy, broccoli and carrots, chocolate chip muffin, mixed fruit, and milk. For Tuesday, it's hot dog chili dog. And for Wednesday, it's cheese lasagna roll up. For Thursday, it's beef tacos, hard or soft. And for Friday, it's hot pretzel. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Hi everyone, my name is Kyle Thompson. And I'm Ben Mellon. And today we're going to give you your this week's weather forecast. Mellon, hit him with it. Okay, so on Monday we're going to have a high of 49, a low of 38, and some rain. Alright, on Tuesday it's going to be cloudy with a high of 44 and a low of 38 degrees. Um, the high on Wednesday is 42 with a low of 30 degrees, and it's going to be partly cloudy. Alright, on Thursday we're going to have a high of 41 degrees and a low of 32 degrees. And the weather for Friday is, um, well, we, we don't have Friday. Yeah, I don't yeah. know yet, so. Hi, welcome to Comic Relief with me and Ava. Mm -hmm. Today we're going to be talking about the Marvel Comics Day. Today we're going to be talking about the is what is a turkey's favorite dessert? Hmm, what is it? A peach gobbler. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay. A farmer in a field with cows counted 196 of them. But when he rounded them up, he had 200. <laughs> okay, why did the stadium get hot after the game? Hmm, I don't know. All the fans left. It's hard to expi explain puns to thieves because they're always taking everything literally. <laughs> That's not right. How does NASA organize their company parties? They plan it. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to catch a squirrel, Melly? Yeah. Well, if you want to catch one, just climb a tree and act like a nut. <laughs> Why didn't the lifeguard save the hippie? Why? Because he's too far out, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, that's all we have for you today. Hi, I'm Xander Usebell, and this is Father Mike, and we are going to ask him what he does over Christmas, and if he has any traditions. What I do over Christmas? Work. Do you have any traditions of any sort? Yeah, I work. You know, it's uh, it's really hilarious because so many people say have a nice vacation when you guys go home we keep working got mass every day the weekend masses all the decorations and stuff that go on having to get the church ready there's a lot more work to do sometime during your vacations than there are during the school weeks however tradition wise I do have a couple of traditions I usually put the tree up on Thanksgiving Day right after Thanksgiving meal I put the tree up because the next day the Knights of Columbus start their Christmas tree sales. So that way when people come into the lot, they see a tree that's decorated already and it gets them in the Christmas spirit. And then I also put a little nativity scene usually in my room, but um, Chris, other Christmas traditions have kind of gone by the wayside over the years after my parents have passed away and family's pretty much moved out of the area. So there's not a whole lot that I do for Christmas. I just kind of look forward to the after Christmas time because, you know, there's a lot of work that leads up to Christmas. So on Christmas Day, once the last Masses are done, I usually go to my aunt's for dinner. And then she looks at me and she says, you're tired, leave, go home, get rest. So, so I get to leave early and go home and I usually take a nap. And then I just kind of sit around for the day um, because it's been very busy up until Christmas. But the big thing I look forward to, my tradition, is after New Year's, I go to Disney, the happiest place on earth. So that's kind of like my Christmas tradition. It's a post-Christmas tradition when I get to go on vacation. Thank you. You're welcome. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. St. Thomas More, pray for us. St. Ben and St. Stolaska, pray for us. Let us pray for one another. Hey, I'm Mikey. I'm Jacob. And I'm Ethan. Here are the top five facts about pets. Dogs can see bluish and greenish shades, but not reddish ones. Fact two. The most popular name for a dog is Max. Others include Molly, Sam, and Zach. Miranda. Fact three. At nights, a cat can see six times better than a human. 
Cats love it when you hear their name and your voice. Talk to it often. Finally, fact five. It's possible for dogs to actually donate blood to cats, and cats can donate blood to dogs. I'm Xander, and I not only have this week's, but last week's birthdays. We have Ethan Pierce, Amber Payne, Nico Valdez, Anastasios Tasso, Andrew Brzezinski, 